now. Get ready for homework and early alarm clocks. It's back to school time. Here on Daybreak, we are committed to bringing you what you need to know before sending your kids back to school. This morning, we're watching out for your health and finding out what you need to know about vaccinations. I'm joined in studio by Dr. Donna <coughs> Harold. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good you know, it, it's almost simple to send the little kids back to school because they don't let you into kindergarten without a list of shots and immunizations. But let's talk about some of the older kids. What do they need to get? Specifically, uh, teenagers heading to college and, and moving into dorms, into close living quarters. There's some options, some optional vaccinations there, aren't there? Yes. You know, the two vaccines for your teenage children are your Tdap, which is your tetanus and pertussis vaccine, as well as the meningitis vaccine. The meningitis vaccine is especially important for your ages, you know, 16 to 21 you can see meningitis uh, meningitis in that age group you know and most of those kids receive both those vaccines at the age of 11 or 12 okay usually sixth or seventh grade is kind of the checkpoint for the tetanus in the schools uh, the meningitis I don't think is required at this point um, but it's definitely required for your college age kids it's definitely a checkpoint for kids that are gonna be living in dorms from that standpoint so required or option is it something you want to make sure they have and and when they get it early on at age 11 is it something that wears off well the thought was initially everyone was vaccinated at age you know 11 or 12 thought okay. to last for 10 years the new recommendations say that the vaccine maybe only lasts about five. So if okay. you are vaccinated at 11 or 12 with the meningitis, you should receive a booster dose. If you're vaccinated after age of 16, you do not need a second dose of the meningitis vaccine. Because that's something that can be easily spread in those close living yep. quarters with utensils and uh, sharing of, of things like that. Yep. And this is specifically for the bacterial form of the meningitis. Okay. You know, the viral form is not life-threatening from that standpoint. There's no vaccine for that. But it's definitely a good thing because it's a preventable thing and you can be very sick as far as with meningitis and you, when you talk about pertussis that's whooping cough yes which has seen a comeback in recent years yes you've seen you know outbreaks in several states Michigan's one of them there's actually more cases even in California and the thought is is that we've seen some waning vaccination of the pertussis vaccine that everyone got as kids um, so we're trying to revaccinate your adolescents as well as your adults. And flu shots are out. They are. They're starting to hit the community right now. And flu season lasts from October to May. You know, it's certainly fine to start vaccinating now. It takes about a couple weeks for you to develop immunity. And there's options of flu shots, which are the killed and activated vaccines, or the flu mist for your 2 to 49 age group. That's just a nasal spray. Okay, they're out. All right. Dr. Donna Harrell, thank you for joining us this morning.